Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I am here today to show you how to do a U-part wig, also known as a 3 4 wig. And I'm going to show you what it should look like. It's regular wefted hair sewn onto a black stretchy cap. And this is for the conveniency of taking your hair down more often to care for your natural hair as a protective style or just for the conveniency of taking it down to switch it up more often than having the hair sewn onto your head. So I'm going to show you what the wig should look like once you are done. As you can see, this is where you get the term U part. It's in the shape of a U and whatever is left out will be your natural hair which is going to cover this wig and this is going to be your leave out section here. And this will determine how much you want to leave out. You can bring it in closer or you can bring it farther. But I will get more into this a little bit later. The items you will need for this technique is a black stretchy dome cap. And I got this from my local beauty supply. Um, it's a seamless stretch dome cap. You can normally find these. Um, I've seen them at every beauty supply I've been to, but it's, it just says spandex dome cap and this is in the color black. You will also need black thread. Black is the best option to go with if you are doing dark hair, um, just so it can look a bit more invisible. So if you do brown hair, do brown thread and so on. Next you will need a curved needle like this. This is called the sewing needle. And the reason why it's curved is because it allows you to sew a little bit better around the tracks. If it was straight, it makes it a little bit harder. And lastly, you will need two boxes of wig clips, which come two each. And this is the large black clip. And they have silver and they have um, other colors, but black is the best because it is invisible and it is easier to hide under your U-part. So you will also need a mannequin head. You do not necessarily need this type. You can get a very inexpensive foam head that is about the same size and much cheaper at your local beauty store. First, you want to go ahead and take your black cap. So I'm going to put that on. Now, if you have never done this technique before, you may want to go ahead and get um, some measurements of your hairline. You can just kind of eyeball it by looking where you want the first track to start and maybe placing a white pencil where you want the track to stop and so on. Now, a lot of people will take measurements if you're not sure how to do that. You can go to a salon and get fitted for a wig. You can go to your local beauty supply and just have them fit you for a wig and that'll better help you know where to stop sewing the hair and so on. This cap fits me pretty much perfectly and I think this is a really good cap for everybody because most people that usually uses it works for them. So the hair that I'll be using today is going to be the Virgin Hair Fantasy Body Wave. I'm going to use three bundles. I'm going to use a bundle of 28 inch, I'm going to use a bundle of 24 and a bundle of 18 inch. Okay, but of course the hair that you use is completely optional. You can use anything from beauty supply store hair to virgin hair. So of course you always want to start with the longest weft first, which is going to go into the back. I'm going to unravel the hair, stretch it all out so, so it's one single weft. And here is where your measurements will come into play, depending on if you did mark where you want to go to the track. That's where you will start. I'm going to start about an inch above the cap because once I cut it, this elastic band will probably be cut as well. So I'm going to start right here above that stretchy band here. Right, go ahead and get your needles threaded. Whenever I get started, I always take my needle and go through the thread initially to lock in the start of my sewing process. The only reason why I do this is because when you go through the tracks, it holds it a little bit more securely at the ends. So this is the only time I go through the track. Other than that, I go under the track all the way through. So I'm going to put this needle through the thread. I'm going to pull it all the way through. Remember at the end of the thread you will need a knot so the thread does not just go through the hair, okay? So first I'm going to start right here. Hopefully you can see that. If you need to use like a pin to hold the track up you can do so, um, but it doesn't matter. 
I'm going to start and I'm going to go through the track and I'm going to go through the cap as well. Do not be afraid to go through the cap because this cap, this particular cap is very sturdy and it does not um, tear holes or anything in it. So don't be scared to go through the, um, the okay, cap So once you well. go through that cap, you want to pull it all the way through until you have no more thread. And you want to repeat this process. I like to secure it by just sewing around it one more time just to make sure that I have that end secured. And then what I'll do to kind of make a knot is take the thread, wrap it around the needle, and pull it through. Okay, I'm going to turn this cap just a little bit so I can kind of get to it a little bit easier. Hopefully you guys can still see. Once I have the end of the track secure, you can tug it and pull it and it's not going anywhere because I secured it with that double knot. So now I'm just going to continue to sew and now I'm going to go under the track like this. I'm just going to go under the track and through the um, cap. You always want to sew through the cap. This is what's going to hold the track in place and this is what's going to keep your track um, tight. So this is the question that I get all the time is the folding method and a lot of you girls cut your wefts and you do not have to do that. With the folding method all you're going to do is when you're ready to go to your next row all you need to do is take your finger and just fold the track. So now I'm just folding that track over and I'm going to sew around it twice to secure it. Okay, so I'm finishing up with my 28 inch and if you guys are curious about how far I am sewing in between the tracks and it's usually about a half of an inch. So it really will depend on you on how much hair you want on your wig, how thick and how voluminous you want it. If you want a lot of hair, you want to sew the tracks closer. If you want a more natural look. Um, you want to sew at least probably about an inch or more apart. So I'm doing about a half of inch, which is pretty close because I'm trying to get three bundles on this cap.
Okay guys, I am almost done with my U part. As you can see, it's in the shape of a U, which is where they get the term U part. So um, if you did not really follow what I was doing, all I did was went in a snake motion back and forth, back and forth. The reason why I brought it a little closer here in the front is because I don't want as much leave out. So, and, it, and another reason why I did that is because once you cut the cap, it's gonna stretch out anyway, so. Let me go ahead and show you. I'm gonna also cut all of this stretchy part here around the perimeter. Okay, so now that you are done with your U-part wig, as you can see, now that it's freely cut, you can kind of adjust the wig to coat in a little bit more. You can make it wider. I'm going to use this all black clip and I'm just gonna show you how I'm gonna sew it on. It opens and closes like this. What I'm going to do is face the wig clip backwards like this, so where the combs are facing outward, and I'm going to attach this to the very end of the wig, meaning the front. Now the clip is secure and it's right at the tip of the wig and as you can see it is seamless you cannot see it on the other side of the track so I love this technique a lot I'm gonna cut this off and then I'm going to sew the rest of my clips on I'll come back when I'm with the so finished I'm results. finally all done with my u-part wig and this is what it should look like at the end I have attached four clips, two in the front and two in the but back. But this step is completely optional. You can actually just sew your wig all around the perimeter wherever you want to, and it'll still hold it just as secure, but this is just the option to kind of just pop it on, pop it off, especially if you're in transition of taking, your, taking care of your hair more. So this is the wig. I'm just gonna show you what it looks like when I put it on the mannequin head. We're gonna act like she has hair, <laughs> but I'm just going to show you how the clips will be attached. And then there's two in the back as well. So you can clip this as close or as far as possible as you want to. And that is the final results. Hopefully this was helpful to you guys and thank you for watching. Bye.